Today, we are going to buy ourselves a Drake for the first time in this free-to-play run of EVE Online. So, to make sure everything will work, we're going to open our fitting simulator. The very first thing we need is, of, uh, of course, some pew pew. So, we want a heavy missile launcher. Let's get these guys on board. So that is the very first thing. The second thing is, of course, we need some more pew pew, right? So uh, we get a ballistics control system. A ballistics control system is going to improve our missile damage and, most importantly, with heavy missiles, our rate of fire. Because the rate of fire on heavy missile launchers, it's slow. Let's put these on. That's basically standard, also standard in like Battle cruiser fittings for Kaldari and uh, also battleship for you know mission running is a damage control system. Uh, the reason for it is uh, very simple. Number one, uh, if it uh, you know if it's on board, um, it has a slight bonus to your shield damage and armor damage resistances. But most importantly, it boosts our hull damage resistance by 40%. So if you are in dire straits, you know, and you have to get out, that's what's probably going to rescue your little, very expensive ship. Incomplete skills, hull upgrades for three days, really? Ah, you know, that's a good thing why you should use uh, the fitting simulator. We gotta get this guy off and uh, do the damage control T1. Yeah, hull upgrades and mechanics one. It's a little bit less in terms of resistances, but you know, in case it's getting close, we need it. So I really do want to have it. So the next thing we are mainly going to fly against uh, Gorissas, which means uh, we're going to face against kinetic and thermal damage mainly. So that's what we should focus on, right? So these gray guys here and these red numbers. And right now uh, we have 47 kinetic and 29% uh, shield damage resistance, which isn't too great. So we can I fit in a multi-spectrum uh, shield hardener. So, we have the shield thermal damage resistance to 46 now and our kinetic is at 60, which is nice, you know. But um, we probably should boost up our thermal uh, damage resistances um, because, like I said, we're uh, flying against Kaldari, so uh, let's search for a compact uh, thermal, I think it's called, shield hardener. Yep, there it is. Um, it's basically the same item, but it's only thermal. And as you can see, if you get like um, the item for the damage type, uh, for the specific damage uh, type, it's minus 42%. So uh, let's get this thing on board. So basically now we have good resistances. So if I fly against something different like Sanchas or something, I obviously need to change things here. But you know, right now we're fine, Gorissas, so that's okay. So the next thing we need to do is uh, we need more shield because we're tanking passively, right? So uh, we need two things. We need basically as much shield as we can and we need to get this number here, the, this 14 HP per second, up as much as we can. So how are we going to do it? For, uh, for more shield, we can use large shield extenders. If you look at them, uh, they need shield upgrades for science one, power grid management two, which isn't like, you know, a huge ask really. And, um, we get shield hit point bonus of uh, 2600 HP. So considering that we right now have uh, 30k uh, effective HP, that's not uh, too bad. So uh, let's get this guy. I think we should be able to get uh, two in here. 
If I'm not mistaken, yeah. So now you can see we have 44,510 uh, effective HP. So effective HP means um, it's not, you know, the raw shield HP number. Uh, it calculates, you know, with all the resistances and whatever, how much I have effectively, how much damage would a NPC need to do to get me down in this case, right? And also, um, we have 28 HP per second now. So next step is M51 Benefactor Shield Recharger. So this thing uh, improves the shield recharge rate, aka we boost this little number here, right? So let's get this guy on. So now we have 32. What was the difference? 28, 32? Yeah, that's a boost of like 4 HP per second. That's uh, quite decent. My idea now is in terms of medium slots. Um, in the prior episodes, you saw me struggle against small targets. So what I want to do is get a target painter on. Um, so in case I struggle with something smaller with me, I just target paint it, right? So let's see if we can... No, we can't fit a Tech 2 target painter because it's Omega only. So let's see, the T2, a T1 variant. I don't have target painting, but it only needs 50 minutes. So let's just buy and train this uh, skill, right? Um, let's go into our skill tree. Um, Target... Is it? Oh, okay. Yeah. Let's set this on top. 50 minutes. You know, until we're going to face the next enemy. Uh, we're going to uh, be able to use it. So uh, let's get the target painter on board. Because we're flying passively, we don't need a lot of our uh, capacitor, right? So it's not like when we um, have active... A shield boosting where basically um, our cap is extremely important. Basically it's a shield power relay. Shield power relay. Let's see, maybe we can fit into take 2 variant. Hmm. Let's just test this. Yeah, seems fine. Also, uh, pretty standard medium core uh, defense field perjure, I think it was. Yeah, it should be field perjure. T1 because uh, otherwise we're going to be broke. The T2 variant is um, better and we should be able to fit, but you know, the price difference. So let's compare them. Uh, the T2, vari uh, the T1 variant, I'm sorry, has a recharge rate bonus of minus 20% of the shields. And this one has a 25% recharge rate. So extra 5%. But if you look at this thing, it's uh, 20 million a piece, right? Doesn't sound like a lot, you know, if you consider that you need to buy three of those, but that's the price of the entire ship, which is not unusual in EVE Online, so that your fitting is like, I don't know, five times the price of your ship. But if you compare this to like what the Tech 1 variant costs, it's like, 790,000, right? So, and at this point, we do care about 700 and whatever thousand isk, and just basically 20 million, right? That's later in the game, you know, if you buy insanely expensive ships um, to do all of this, then yeah, you know, if your ship alone is like 2 billion isk, then you're like, yeah, 20 million, whatever. But if your ship is like 60 million, hmm, yeah, there's, there's a difference there. So we have one high slot left. So what could be a good idea is a drone link augmenter, maybe? T1 or T2, let's see. T2 is uh, Omega. T1 damage, con uh, damage control range bonus plus 20 kilometers. Nice. So, power grid usage, 1 megawatts, 50 TF CPU. Yeah, Terraforms, by the way. 
Um, should be fine. Also, can we uh, simulate the drones somehow? Aha, uh -huh, okay. Track it like this. Yes, I can. Manage drones. Ah, okay. Nice. That's basically it. What is the price of this thing? 74.5 million isk. The Drake is 52 million. The Arbalest 6 times is 2.2. 1.3 for the shield extenders. Ballistic control system tech 2 was 1.1 and the rest is... Basically, it sums up, but it's not that much. So the main thing are... The Arbalest Heavy Missile Launchers. Where's the freaking buy the thing button? I wanna buy it right now. I have to buy it first, right? If I get this correctly. So let's buy a Drake. Um, let's go into the market. Let's get Drake. Drake. Uh, 54.2 million. Let's buy one. Boom. Nice. Let's open our sexy inventory. And uh, unpack this thing. Assemble ship. Nice. Then... Make active. Ooh. Look at her. You basically go to Hull and Fitz. Combat battle cruiser, and then you know you just or you just take your ship, and that's basically it. So I think that should be it. Um, can I just fit rigs? Yes. Buy all of this. Uh, Twenty million isk. 20.35 million is buy and fit. To Attempting to fit ship? Yes, I want to rig this thing. Nice. So the only thing remaining uh, would be missiles. I do think I still have some of them left. Atom hangar, there it is. Kaldari Navy. One or more modules on your ship is offline. Yes. I know. Give me 40 minutes, game, please. Nice. Looks nice. In motion. Small little cute ship, right? Okay, let's jump. If I can hit the freaking button. Orb drive active. Wee! Let's go. This station is so huge, it's insane. Insanity. Insane speeds. At some point. Also, let's make a group up. Or let's group them up. Loading the heavy missile into the missile launcher. This will take approximately 10 seconds. Thank you very much. Nice. Also... I'd like to have it just here, you know? Like there. So... For whatever reason. Don't ask me. I don't know why. It's okay. Number one. The jump animation never gets old in this game. <laughs> Gotta give it that. Let's go! Whee! Nice. I really like it.
Nice. Oh, hello, Scorpion. Nice. Boom. Okay. Let's dock. Uh, Caldari Navy assembly plant. Right click, dock. My so. It's kind of bright in this uh, system. Can someone please turn the lights off? You know, I almost get blinded. I'm old. I'm wearing glasses, you know. I probably should get my sunglasses on. Right now. That's probably the secret trick. CCP doesn't want you to know. Just wear glasses while playing EVE Online, you know? Nice, we're almost there. Our oh, new Dragon Motion. Boom. Yeah. Docking permission accepted. Maybe. Docking request accepted. Nice. Thank you very much for letting us in into this glorious station. Okay, my friends. Thank you, everyone, for watching. I would say see you in the next one. And if you want to know how to fit a caracal, you know, you can watch my other video about fitting a caracal. Thank you for watching and see you next time!